The most important thing we have to do is to restore the readiness of the force. And right now, of course, as you know, we're under, we're under a continuing resolution. Nine out of the last ten years we started with a continuing resolution. And sequester is still the law of the land. We need to lift those budget caps so that we have some certainty on the budget and we can defend the nation. Meaning when, Second, con when, when Congress doesn't get its job done, it, it, it does what to, to you and to your planning? Authorities? It hurts our readiness. It means that I can't start any new contracts. It means that you know, we, are, we are putting about 100 weapons a day on ISIS in, in, from the air on ISIS in Syria and Iraq. But I can't start new contracts to increase and replace all of those weapons. So, so uh, it really constrains the force and, uh, uh, and, and really impedes our ability to modernize the force. What, what, have you had conversations with uh, leaders on Capitol Hill and, and expressed your concerns and, and, and let them know what this does? I have. And I think the, the, the message for the Congress is, you know, we need to take this off autopilot. We need the Congress uh, to, to, to work through a budget and make all those tough decisions and, uh, and lift the cap so that we don't go through sequester. You started with what your second priority was, and I'm, I'm sorry I cut you off. It's a modern, modernization across the board. The Air, the Air Force has been continuously involved in combat for 27 years now. We have a very old Air Force, so we have modernization across the board. The B-21 bomber, F-35 fighter, tankers, uh, space assets, so there's modernization across the board. How are you feeling about prospects for being able to complete some of that modernization at this point? It's actually moving forward fairly well. The B-21 bomber, we've signed contracts to move forward on the development of, of, of the new bomber. Uh, the F-35 fighter is, uh, is now operational. Um, uh, we have uh, over 120 of them now, and we're continuing to build out more fighter squadrons. And of course, space is a place of continuous modernization and enables a huge amount of, of American industry. We, we've had a, 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 an astronaut here recently who told us one of their big concerns when they were on the space station is trying to look out for the junk that's in space. That yeah. There were some very scary moments when you don't know when you're going through a junk field if something's going to puncture the space station. In fact, uh, the United States Air Force since the 1950s has kept the catalog for the world of what's up there and we warn people if their satellites might be hit. But GPS, uh, you know, it enabled, used by a billion people every day. It's, uh, it's run by a squadron of 40 airmen in Colorado Springs for the world every day. So the blue dot on your phone is provided by the United States Air Force. That's great. Secretary Wilson, we really appreciate having you here. Uh, we looked into some of the statistics. You are the first pilot to be named secretary. You are the first graduate of the Air Force Academy to be named secretary. Um, we really appreciate your being here, and we'll hope you come back soon. A member of Congress, yeah, too, Congress right? That, that's where you really get hit. That ruins my reputation. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a Rhodes Scholar. And, 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 and we all want to help vets, obviously. Anecdotally, are things improving at the, at the VA, do you think, from, from what you can tell? I, I, I don't spend a lot of time with the VA, but no. our, our focus on it is to make sure that if an airman is um, uh, it does leave the service with a, with yeah, a disability. They're always needs. part of their family. They're yeah, an airman for life, and we need to take, take care of them. Okay. Thank you, Secretary Wilson. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.